Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right, welcome to Freestyle Friday where I get to do what I want. If you've been watching my show for a while, you'll undoubtedly hear me at least mention Underground Cellar. It's an online wine merchant that I've bought wines from since 2013. The first wine I bought from them was a 2008 Iron Horse Rude Clone or Rued Clone Chardonnay back in October of 2013. I had paid $27 for it and it was actually valued at 48. It would be over a year later before I would review that wine actually as part of my Thanksgiving Day special for 2014. So what is Underground Cellar? Well, back when I discovered it, they had a daily deal that you would get in on. You had a buy-in price for the offer. The featured wine was that buy-in. You then had other more expensive wines that you had the possibility of getting upgraded to. In order to increase your chances of getting an upgrade, you needed to purchase a certain number of bottles. Just so I don't forget about this part, you had a daily email that would give you whatever the offer was. Now, I can't remember if you knew early on exactly how many bottles you needed to buy to get guaranteed upgrades. I feel like it wasn't exactly known at first, or at least it wasn't on the, wasn't like listed directly on the website. Um, but eventually you could figure out how many you needed. Now it's really very clear. So you get, you buy two bottles, you get one upgrade. Buying three bottles equals two upgrades, four bottles equals three upgrades, and so on. So basically the more you buy, the higher percentage of bottles or upgrades. At the beginning, as long as the deal sold out, then you got whatever one you ordered. If they didn't sell out, then you didn't get anything. Honestly, I can't remember there ever being a deal that fell through, and this was the only offer available at the time. Now, this is how I remember it. I might be completely bonkers on it, but that's how I remember it. Anyway, over the years, they dropped the need of a sellout and replaced it with each deal is available for a set amount of time. So you would still get a daily email with a new offer. Now, you are given the entry price exactly how long the offer is for and how many bottles are left when you go to the website. And they have multiple deals going on at the same time. I find that they concentrate on mostly New World wines. It's not like you can't get European wines. You can. It's just that most of the wines in each offer or even just the entire offer will most likely be New World wines. I, I have personally no issues with that at all. The offer page lists all the wines as part of the offer and what percentage of each offer each wine represents. Sometimes the entry level wine wasn't the highest percentage. Many times it is. So you could have a dozen wines in the offer. Many are around 15% of the offer. And then you'll have a small number that are say 1% or less of the offer. So maybe those wines are like a case or maybe even as little as one bottle that would be like say the most expensive in the offer. Now, back in the day, you saw each purchase in real time. It listed the person and the wines they got with what wines were upgrades. Now they still list each purchase by name, by the person who did it, and how many bottles they bought, but the wines themselves aren't listed. Instead, there's a link to that person's cloud seller, assuming they've made that cloud seller public. It was possible to easily figure out if the most expensive wines had been bought uh, if you got to the offer early enough or you felt like looking at the whole list. It's very difficult now because you have to be able to see that person's seller and there's a lot of people who have that hidden. Now over the years, I've gotten my fair share of upgrades. Most of these upgrades are only valued a few dollars more than the entry level price. So the offer might've been a $20 bottle and I got an upgrade that was valued at 22. The best I got I can remember was something that was maybe around three times or four times the purchase price. I never got any of like the top wines in an offer. So you make your purchase, then what? The best way to use the site is to put everything in your cloud cellar. You can have up to 500 bottles in the cellar. Now, once you build up your cellar, you can then start requesting wines to be shipped. 
If you request 12 bottles, then shipping is free. It's standard ground shipping, so it could take a week or so to get. But I'm cool with that. One of the things that hurts online wine sales though is shipping, especially if you want to buy just one bottle at a time. But if you buy a case or two, that tends to get you probably a deal on shipping. Now you can't immediately request a wine that you purchase. You need to give it time to arrive in the cellar. Now many times this is because the actual wine is not in their warehouse, but still at the winery or wherever the wine is being held. Depending on the situation, it may take as long as a week or two for that wine to arrive at their warehouse. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Now this brings me to the one major problem that I have with Underground Cellar. And from what I hear, it's actually the most common uh, problem other people have. Not necessarily having to wait a few days for a wine. It's the fact that I've had a lot of wines I bought that never made it to my cellar. So it's something to be aware of. Now, I'm pretty lazy as far as requesting my wines from these guys. So a wine could sit in my cellar for a couple years before I decide to request it. And then I won't know until I request it if it's in there. So I've had to get on them more than once about wines that had been purchased months in the past that weren't in my cellar. They always offered a comparable or better replacement. This came to a head back at the beginning of 2020. I was preparing for my event sommelier exam and was looking to get as many testable wines from my cellar as possible to either test at home or possibly bring with me to Portland. Lo and behold, I have a lot of wines that weren't in my cellar. More than half of my cellar at the time. At least that's how I remember it. Some have been purchased years prior. And some of those had been wines that I had inquired about previously that weren't in the cellar and was told they would be replaced. So this time I got quickly escalated to somebody that was, if I remember how you put it, hired specifically to address these issues with their longtime customers or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, I did an initial email notifying them of missing wines. I got a fairly canned response explaining how everything worked, yada, yada, yada. I got kind of hot pretty quick and fired back uh, that I'd been uh, a customer for years and I'm very familiar with their business model. Some more emails and then I fire back with, you know, dates and names of people I emailed about the missing wines in previous issues, right? That were still missing. So I tend to keep a lot of my emails, especially the ones I sent. I guarantee you, almost all of you uh, have never deleted your sent emails either. So anyway, I told them that I wanted all of my wines immediately. That's when I got the guy. We traded more emails and he definitely made sure that whatever was missing was replaced, mostly, most of the time with a similar but more expensive or better wine. Sometimes it was something that was much more expensive. So he did me right, so to speak. Now, I haven't ordered anything from Underground Cellar since. To be fair, I really haven't ordered anything from my other main source of online wines, Psalm Select, since February of 2020 either. So it's not entirely an Underground Cellar thing. Much of it is just the economics for me. I still have five wines in my cellar. I could probably get these five wines shipped for free because at the time I was getting the other wines, I was told that they would ship these, they would ship the remaining five, no matter what they were, for free. I didn't request them since I had plenty of other wines coming. It was like 36 bottles. So I'm sure that at some point I'll buy some more wines and have them ship. But get this, I already alluded to it, I still have one bottle that is yet to make it to my cellar and this is why I checked it recently. It's listed as third party. It's not like I can request it to have it shipped to them, like from the third party. All right, so you might say, well, you know, it's COVID. Yeah, that's what happened with some of the ones I requested. It took them a while to collect the wines that were supposed to be in my cellar or the replacement wines. Um, but most of this was really before all the COVID stuff happened. Um, but my, and my last shipment was actually in the middle of March in 2020. So what do I like about this service? Well, honestly, I like the thrill of getting an upgrade. It's a bit like gambling and I really like gambling. To keep that analogy going, it's like staying in a Texas holding game holding a pocket pair or some other good set of pocket cards. While the flop didn't give you a monster hand, it didn't hurt you. In fact, it sucked you in to see 4th Street and the river card. You're hoping to catch that straight flush or full house on the river. In the end, you have maybe a three of a kind, straight or a flush. 
if you've got that full house, but it's something like fours over kings rather than the other way around. It's not a bad hand, but you might not win the pot without maybe a little bit of bluffing if all you have is that three of a kind. I like the free shipping when shipping 12 bottles or more. I also like being able to have a cloud seller with as much as 500 bottles. And sometimes they will have library releases uh, that are part of the daily offer. These are almost always New World too. Some of the offers have harder to find wines, wines that are winery or wine club only, or wines that rarely make it to retail, but maybe are found in restaurants. They also will have a lot of the same wineries across different offers. They're not bad wines, but they are the same smaller producers every week or two. Many of these wines are closeout wines, wines from an out of business winery or something that a winery or wholesaler needs to move in order to make room for more inventory. So it's no big deal if that upgraded wine that's valued at 35, 45 or $60 has a higher percentage of the offer when they got it for less than the entry price. So basically you might end up with an unknown producer. Maybe it's a good wine, maybe not. I don't think I've ever had a terrible wine from them. What I don't like, well, besides the fairly common issue of wines never arriving to your cellar, the randomness of what you do get as far as, as upgrades can be frustrating, but that's kind of defeats the purpose of the upgrade model. I mean, if you don't, you know, if I know that none of the wines are interesting to me in an offer, then I'll pass on the entire offer. There really isn't anything else I don't like about the site. I like it more than I don't, for sure. So I can definitely recommend them as something to check out. It's not a scam. That bottle of Chateau Margot in an offer is real, or at least it should be. Well, as long as it's not, you know, it's some third party warehouse, right? It's just that there's probably only one bottle of something like that. And you're not going to just, and you're not going to get it for 25 bucks. So you might, it, you know, it, you might get lucky, but don't plan on it. Anyway, however, you might get like the $80 or better bottle instead, or at 25 bucks, you might get a 30 or $35 bottle. Just remember that there's always the possibility that any particular wine you do buy may have to be replaced by them. So that's today's show. Again, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And then tell all your friends. And until next time, we'll see you later.